with you guys. All right. Yeah. This one gonna be super easy and nice. Okay, we're not gonna cook and make up no nice tonight. And do no loud talking and make our neighbor think I'm doing something dodgy. <laughs> All right, so. So if you guys are watching, tonight we're going to talk about mucus. You know what I mean? And a lot of people suffer from that. You know, sometimes you hear that cough down in the throat and you wonder what's going on. Then I have a little recipe where I was looking at and I said to myself, I'm going to share it with my audience because, um, and chest cough and all of these things. You know what I mean? So hopefully this will help a lot of you guys at home. All right. So... I'm just going to share the recipe with you. It's not going to be a long video. It's going to be simple. Yannick, thank you so much for coming on the show. Hello, Chef Ricardo. Big up yourself every time. It's not going to be a long video. All right? Hey, 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 hey. What's going on now? Checking in from where? Where are you checking in from? Jamaica? Are you in the UK? Here's is him. Big up yourself. Big up yourself every time. Here's is him. Um, this recipe good for you. Hello, everyone. Sharon, what's going on now? All right. Just, okay, big up yourself every time. Yeah, man, Chicago. Big up yourself in the building. Which TV station that? <laughs> Washington, D.C. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Craig, up. what are you cook this evening? Are you... Are you we are making Japanese pancake or Chinese. <laughs> Peace and blessing, Chef Ricardo. Brenda, thank you so much. Good night. All right. Virginia Beach, Beach. Thank you so much. Your stuff don't, don't work. I have been. Um, your stuff don't work. I have been drinking the garlic and lemon for two months. Nothing happened. Why? My blood pressure. All of the first. First of all, did you change your diet? Because some, guess I'm telling you what a lot of people do. A lot of people um, want to, their blood pressure to go down, but at the same time, they don't want to change their diet. Their, their, their diet. You just like you bring your car to the mechanic. And the mechanic said to you, okay, you're going to need four new tires. And you said to the mechanic, why? We don't have no money, you know. It's the same thing with your body. Because you have high blood pressure, but you're still probably eating and drinking some little snack, which is going to help to spark your high blood pressure. I got witness and testimony of people who was on medication and the high blood pressure. And doctor take them off a of high blood pressure. So you are doing something which is not right. And garlic supposed to can help you, which is one of the most powerful things on the planet. All right. So when you're talking, that's a straight red flag you are coming up with. You are just doing something which is not right at home. Anything what you are doing, you need to change it. Okay. The person where it is um, saying that. Your stuff doesn't work. <laughs> Come on. You're doing something which is not right. So you need to cut off of your, your rice and peas, your fried chicken, your oily food, your bread food, your yam, your pasta, your chicken. Eat some vegetables. Drink some oil and natural juice. Eat healthy and change your diet. If you do that, your blood pressure has to go down. All right? Yeah. Simple as that one. Um... Lisa, good morning. All the way in Canada. <laughs> JP, man, big up yourself. Thank you so much for coming on the show. All right. Mucus. So, guys, if you're suffering from high blood pressure, okay, one thing I want to tell you, change your diet, okay? Don't be a bait. When you put down the stuff, you're going to eat it, and you know it's going to be affecting you. 
Lots of people do this. They know they have high blood pressure. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of salt. Come on. Okay, I have high blood pressure. Oh, I'm going to take a little one slice of bread. Oh, I have high blood pressure. Oh, no, no. Let's stop to the fast shop and get some fried chicken and some chips. Come on. Change your diet. Okay? Yeah, man. Real TV didn't know. Turmeric and garlic will calm it down. Definitely. Oh, sorry. Yeah. All right, guys. So thank you so much for that super 99p stars. Um, stick on it. Or what they call them. I don't even remember. <laughs> thank you so much for the stars. Yeah. All right. I am having some shock in my back and I'm half. And I'm drinking turmeric lemon and turmeric and garlic yeah but if you if if you are suffering from something guys the only option the only thing i can say to you is change your diet change your diet change your diet because it's what you put in your body gonna make it keep happening okay now and as i'm um doctor Okay, let me see. Blood pressure. Check in with the doctor. Yeah, yeah. If you if, if check with the doctor, but the doctor gonna tell him the same thing too. The doctor gonna say you need to cut off a salt, change your diet. All of these things is something where I see guys, as I know people right now have high blood pressure, <laughs> and this is what they do. Talk about fire, right? Um, ship it. So, ah, uh, if you want to to talk about that, that's another that video I have to make about that video next time. And next time I can talk about that video because I'd have to have the ingredients prepared for that one. But it's eye blood pressure is a big thing, very, very big thing, guys. You might not suffer from high blood pressure, you might not suffer from fire, right, or something else, but high blood pressure is big. But this is what I see a lot of people do who have high blood pressure. Oh, I'm going to put a little pinch of salt. I'm going to put a little pinch of this. No, that's red flag. Straight red flag. But anyway, let's do go into this. All right. Um, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No worries. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. So we're going to make this one. So first of all, what you need to do gonna make it in this one we're gonna get all right we're gonna get some lemon okay and this the lemon I'm using is the one with the seed is a little bit more healthier and much better okay Squeeze it in. All right, just like this. You can use half a lemon, but I'm gonna use a large lemon because I'm using a lot of liquid. All right. All right, so I use a, a lemon, one medium sized lemon. lemon and we're gonna get some more ingredients and these ingredients is you can get them guys any shop local shop or your supermarket okay yeah so we've got one medium size lemon inside of it We 
going to put one teaspoon of cinnamon powder inside of it. Use organic cinnamon powder is the best to use. Put a pinch more because I'm using a large cup. All right. Now, we're gonna put a teaspoon of extra good virgin olive oil. One teaspoon. All right, beautiful and nice. Then, give that a mix. All right, now, the best time to drink this is in the morning when you wake up on a empty stomach. That's the best time to drink this. Okay, guys? Yeah, in the morning on a empty stomach. Then, get some hot water. We're gonna put some hot water inside of it. Nice one. Grab yourself some good organic honey. You need some good organic honey like this, all right? Yeah. So we're gonna use rough about a nice, lovely teaspoon of organic honey inside of it. A nice, good portion of teaspoon of organic honey. And give it a mix. Lovely. Then here's my cup. I'm gonna simple pour it out like this. All right. Yeah, beautiful. All right. So what you wanna do? You wanna drink this first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. All right, guys. That's the best time to drink this. Now, you can drink lemon and honey in the morning. Also, very good. The lemon and honey. You can drink it. You can give that a try also in the morning. All right? You only can... Rosie, thank you so much for coming on the show. Big up yourself. You only can try things, guys, and see what works for you. And if it works, congratulations. Because every one of us body is different. All right, yeah, but I know this one is a very good one, and the lemon and the honey is very good, special the um the olive oil, all right, is also good to drink, yeah, one hundred percent, so here it is, another recipe from Chef Ricardo tonight, yeah, all right, then what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give this a try now. Mm. Perfect. Damn it. The best time to drink it is in the morning. All right, good stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, someone know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. So I use one medium sized lemon, one teaspoon of cinnamon powder, one teaspoon of olive oil, some organic honey. Yeah, good to go. Mm. <clears throat> now, you need to use the good extra virgin olive oil. All right, guys. Yeah, you need to. Yeah, man. 
Mm -hmm. You need to use a good extra virgin olive oil. Craig, well, we, thank you so much for that, man. Big up yourself. So appreciate it. Yeah. Lemon, cinnamon, olive oil, and honey. And lukewarm water. Hot water. I use hot water. And yeah, you're good to go. Drink this in the morning. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Make sure... You are using organic cinnamon. All right, guys. Well, just look for the good extra organic virgin olive oil. When you think it's organic, it's good. Yeah. Organic virgin olive oil. That's the one you want to look for. Williams, what's going on now? Ah, that is wicked. Mm. Yeah, in the morning and a empty stomach. Thank you, Chef. You're welcome, man. Mm. This is amazing, guys. Honestly. It's an extra virgin olive oil, but um, it's a PDO. You can, once it's an Italian brand, but uh, just because of copyright sign, I don't want to show it too much. Yeah. Because <laughs> I get this olive oil from a, from a company back then when I was doing um, some promotion. And I get the proper extra good virgin olive oil from italy so if you when you're going to the supermarket you can go into the health shop because that's where i mostly buy my stuff in the health shop and you can look for the good extra virgin olive oil the best yeah um sharon this drink is for you lemon olive oil and honey, cinnamon, and hot water. All right? Yeah. Let's pick up yourself, man. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very good drink. Get in the kitchen, guys. And do and try this one. Yeah. Extra virgin olive oil. The best. <clears throat> but try and use yeah, the olive oil. Being up now. You have to have the olive oil in it. You have to have the olive oil in it, all right? You have to have the olive oil. The olive oil is a lot to it. Good extra virgin olive oil. You can get that in the health shop to buy. Yeah. <laughs> sure. All right, I know. All right, guys. This way it look. Is the olive oil swinging on top of it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, hold on, at first. I need to see a message. Got a message. I'm really running away you now. Let me plug in my computer. So what's going on right here? Sorry guys, I need to come 
and catch up on these message all right yeah um where i am at the moment so right here okay freedom Man, Damar Smith. Now, the olive oil, I keep my olive oil not in the fridge. All right, I keep it on the, my work surface. Chef, do you drink chew out all day? Now, drink one cup in the morning and I empty stomach. Empty stomach first thing in the morning. Mel with a spoon. No, I'm very smart. Yeah, with, with your olive oil, don't put your olive oil in the fridge. All right? Just keep it on your work surface in your kitchen. Yeah. So what you want to do, you just want to keep it in a work surface like this in the kitchen. Yeah. Don't put it in the fridge, guys. It's going to, you know, yeah. Yes, Craig, this is a very good drink. Craig, you need to try this one, you know. <clears throat> this, you need to try this one. Um, Manja, what's going on now? Rosie, I have a leg pain. Oh, you got a leg, you got a pain in your leg. If you got a leg in the pain, did you see your doctor? And make sure it's not something damaged when I'm have to do or some do something like a scan or anything with it will that drink oh no 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 um no if it if you want to get help with your high blood pressure as i mentioned before changing your diet is one of the main thing you need to do if your blood pressure is a little bit too high check with your doctor because it's important to check with your doctor um, we got the lots of high blood pressure recipes, okay? Now, I got recipe which can help you to make your high blood pressure, but first of all, you need to change your diet. Um, but this is one which I love to drink, and I will make that recipe when I finish this tea. All right, I'm going to finish up this one. Mm. Yeah. Guys, please use organic stuff if you can. It's the best. Everything I'm using is organic. It's the best. All right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There it is. That's all it could be left. Yeah. I'll finish. This is a drink I'm going to give you guys to drink every night. This is a very powerful drink which I said to you guys drink this every single night as much as you can before you go to your bed all right awesome recipe thank you so much David so thank you so much yeah 
So this is a recipe I would encourage you to drink every night before you go to your bed, if you can. This is just an option for you, many people, all right? So this one, lemon. I'm gonna squeeze half a lemon inside of my cup. Drink this about an hour before you go to bed. The one with the seed is much better and more healthier, okay? See the fruits, see the lemon, see anything with seeds, always good. All right, um, just a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar inside of it. Now, apple cider vinegar, you have to be careful. Try and use straw because it will remove your numb from your teeth. But if you use a straw, you can drink it with a straw. Right, then you can use lukewarm water inside of it. All right. This is from my kettle. Now, I want to encourage you to put any honey inside of it. I would encourage you to drink it natural like this. The reason why, CB, thank you so much. The reason why I said to you to drink this natural like this, it will help you with your sugar level also. And it will give you a peace of mind and a good night's sleep and a good night rest. Now, also you can drink this first thing in the morning on a empty stomach. It's very good to uncanize the body in the morning also. But as I said before, be careful with too much of the acid with your teeth. Take removing them from your teeth, so it's good to use a straw. All right? Use a straw and drink it. Now you don't want to mess up your teeth. All right? But it's a very, very good drink. Now, this is a drink where you can drink before your meal. If you drink this before your meal, brilliant. Or drink it two, three hours before you go to bed. And that's it. Honestly, life-changing. All right, guys? This is a very powerful drink. This will help you with your sugar level also. With a lot of people who are suffering from high blood pressure, the most important thing, change your diet. When you change your diet, start to eat a lot of vegetables, drink a lot of beetroot and green juice, and eat healthy, trust me. And start to drink a lot of natural tea like these, natural juice like this very good okay but if you're on medication please check with your doctor it's important for you to check with your doctor and make sure you're on the right part okay that means you don't mess up your medication what you're taking all right what is this recipe oh this recipe is just apple cider vinegar lemon and lukewarm water i did this recipe many times but just to keep you guys, remind you that you can drink this in the morning or before you go to bed at night. It's a beautiful recipe, guys. And it helped me a lot. And I know it can help a lot more people. Very good for the skin. Very good for the ear. Good for your mind. Good for your brain. It gives you a peace of mind. It get, make you sleep good. And all of these things. All right? So I would encourage you. The link for the book is in the bio. You can download that book, read up some information about apple cider vinegar and about the lemon. Yeah. Chef Ricardo, I appreciate you so much. Everything that you have teach us have been wonderful. Thank you so much. Dear Mr. Simit, do you mean... Wait, <clears throat> hold on, Mr. Simit. Yeah, but, um, but if you... Yeah, if you're on... It is good for your sugar level and sleep. Yeah, it's definitely help you. You know what I mean? Thank you so much. Yes, is it? Jazz Jazz Clark. Jazz Clark. Thank you so much. David. Damage me. 
um, when you said, um, David, when you said like a pace, um, 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 Darren Smith, thank you so much. I didn't get that bit when I said like a pace. Um, um, we'll go back to another message. Bobby Morris. Oh, Uncommon woman. Thank you so much. Bobby Morris. Thank you so much, Bobby. I appreciate it. 100%. Yeah. Um, Lemon too. Okay. Nice one, Bobby. Keep up the good work, man. Things does not happen overnight still, but at least you try. Freedom, Chef Ricardo cooking. Happy Valentine, <laughs> dear. Do you have a good recipe? Okay, that one is gone. Um, Sandra, what's going on? I love you, Chef Ricardo. Many people try to buy you, buy you. Yeah, oh, again. Okay. Yeah, nice one. El Jordan, thank you so much. Um, let me see that message. Bobby. All right, there is Thank you so much. I appreciate the love, man. Um, Shanti Griffin. Okay, we. Um, oh, you mean the first drink? No, it doesn't tick, you know. That's all cinnamon steer when you put cinnamon in it. Yeah. Robin, what's going on? <laughs> nice to see you, man. Nice to see you. Um, it doesn't turn tick. Pumpkin seed is. Oh, bloody hell. Talk. No, this one did I have to do this one, guys? No. <laughs> um, with the lemongrass, I can do a recipe for you for lemongrass. Don't worry yourself about that one. Lemongrass. Yeah. But um, um, David, it doesn't, it just only look thick. It doesn't thick. Because cinnamon with water feel heavy. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be all right. Let's give it a go. Oh, my God. What the beer one of these? Every day I want to do this, guys. And I said to myself, here it is. Pumpkin seed. Okay, see. I think this one is it, possibly. Okay, here it is. Now, I brought this pumpkin seed in the, uh, in this, in the health shop from the other day. This is a powerful thing, guys. All right, yeah. Your recipe is. Thank you so much, David. <clears throat> yeah. So. So this is what I want to do. Put some pumpkin seed into this. Pumpkin seed, guys. Oh my god. This is the organic one. Now the lemongrass. I'm gonna do some lemongrass tea tomorrow for you if you like to or to use it. Lemongrass with ginger and, and lime. It's good. It's really good. So this is a pumpkin seed, so I use buckle water inside of it, guys. All right. Yes, David, you're more than welcome. Big up yourself every time for the support. 100%. Pumpkin seed, guys. Oh, my gosh. 
the pumpkin seed is amazing now this can give you a lot like iron if you need iron here it is okay because you all need iron and iron is very important in your body So I need to make this from the other day. So what I do, I just leave it like this, right here for the night. And in the morning, I pour it off and just wash it off and probably just eat the seeds. All right, or you can mix this seeds into a smoothie with some spinach, ginger, lemon, pineapple, blueberry, and make a beautiful smoothie, okay? Yeah. But you can also eat it on its own. It's beautiful. But thank you to remind me on that one, man. Um, happy Valentine's Day, man. It's, thank you so much. Appreciate the love 100%. A legend. All right. Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome. Information and the olive oil. Yeah, the olive oil, cinnamon. A lemon all right and the honey is the only look thick but it doesn't thick powerful drink guys I'm telling you yeah a very powerful drink but this one what i'm drinking now yeah if you drink this before you go to your bed at night it do help you with your your sugar level and it help you to for you to even to get a bit of sleep, but you can just drink it one night and expect it for you gonna work. Drink it at least three to four night and see how it operates on your body. But it's a beautiful drink, this one. Yeah. Sandra Brett, but thanks, good to hear that. Extra healthy, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah man, but this is excellent. I love this. Is my favorite drink. I find it interesting to about the olive oil. <laughs> Alright, guys. Now the olive oil, even this one, I give you one more recipe. Okay. I don't know. I I don't know if I should be drinking so many different things one time, but it doesn't do me anything. Now, David, look at this one. Half a lemon. This is a very powerful one. Squeeze it in your cup. Right. Use the lemon with the seed. Lemon is very good for gallstone, guys, in your stomach. If you want to get good extra virgin olive oil, go to the health shop. All right, um, here it is. All right, so that's olive oil and lemon juice. Give it a mix. One person say, one of this, keep the doctor away from you. Okay, but I don't drink it every day. I drink it probably about three times a month, two times for the month. Oh yeah, you use pumpkin seed in a smoothie every day. That's good. Yeah, um, I love my pumpkin seed. But this one, lemon juice and olive oil. Very good for the liver, to cleanse the liver. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Chef Ricardo, what? Black olive oil. Um, well, <laughs> what are the first? Let me go back over the message. Let me go back to my messenger. Dara, Sheila Williams. Sophie.
Jeff Freedom. Um, um, no, no, no. This is a PDO. It's a PDO. No, no. All right. It's a PDO. You can get a good brand olive oil in Alan Barrow. Okay. If you go to Alan Barrow, you can get a good brand. No. This olive oil one I'm using is was on a show. I use it on a show. And I'm, when the show, I keep a bottle for myself. All right. And they were like saying, I'm not supposed to show it. None at all. I can't show it. Like this one. Where is this? Oh. Oh, this one is finished. Yeah. So, so I was using this one. Okay. Yeah, and this one is finished. All right. Extra virgin olive oil. All right. This is, was a one liter buckle. This one is finished, which I was using. So let me see if I can open up the screen. But that buckle I'm using, I don't want to show it because I know the reason why. I, uh, I did a, I did a, um, a show in, 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 Ital in Italy and I'm not supposed to show the buckle because, yeah, I did keep back a buckle for myself when they give me the buckle. But when I'm using that buckle, I used to pour it out into that buckle and use that buckle for myself. I only use olive oil, but you can get a good extra virgin olive oil in like in the health shop like Holland Barrow, or um, if you're going to the big supermarket, you can go and read up on the information and see what inside of it and where it's from. But the Italian one of them is the best. Yeah, but this one right here is very good. Do one I'm gonna do I just pour it into a shot glass like this. Yeah. Yeah, Italian olive oil is the best. So you can get Italian olive oil anywhere if you buy it. But you wanna try and look at the label. What inside of it? That's why you need to look at the label. But that one I do it on a TV production. And I keep the bottle for myself. Alright. Yeah, so this one, you can drink this in the morning on a empty stomach. First thing in the morning, olive oil and lemon juice. Very, very good for you. This one, guys. All right? Mm. Mm. Beautiful and nice. It tastes really good. A little bit sweet. Mm. But yeah, chef, can you tell me what is good for? Hold on first, let me see a message. Jojo, what's going on with you now? <laughs> Subscribe a lime for lemon. Yes, you can use it. Yeah, man, you can use lime for lemon. L lemon. Um, J Freedom. <laughs> um, J Freedom, I'm telling you, I wouldn't be talking about that. They said to me, I'm not supposed to show the buckle. Because before they, do you know that if you're doing a production and they say to you, do not show the buckle until the show has released. You can't show the show. The show of the release first. Come on, you should have known that. If, you, if you're doing a production with someone and they said to you, you can use the product, but do not show the buckle until the show has released. When the show released, then you can show it. I've been on a whole of TV production. They say you can use their product, but do not show their stuff until the show has released. So when they release it, then them, 
they can show the buckler. And now they don't even show the buckler or nothing. I just because sometime, yeah. What is the show? Go on my YouTube channel. I, I did it. A pre a preview is on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, giant thing. There's nothing to hide. They can get olive oil in the supermarket. Um, um, just you want to get the try and get the Italian buckler. And that's because my buckle is a copyright buckler. I can't show it. But I'm gonna pour it out into another buckle. Yeah, I will pour it into a next buckle next time and use it. Yeah, but you can get olive oil anywhere to buy like. In the L shop, you go to the the L shop right now. You can get it to buy. So you just wanna just get the L, the, the, the good extra virgin olive oil. Um. You, yeah, you can take two teeth, Chef Ricardo. What is the best home remedy to lower your? Um. freedom Janet Bruce oh my god David blue coast never yeah um blue coast lever um well um for your glue for your glucose. Craig, what do you recommend for that one? <laughs> for your glucose level, but um well I don't have anything on top of my head right now for that one. But I could do some research for you and see what's the best because I don't want to tell you something and it doesn't work. You wanna get the right stuff for uh, you, which is gonna help you. Um Janet. Wow, you got pain. Did you see your doctor? That's one of the main things. Because sometimes you have to see a doctor to see if any, um, make, uh, make your doctor have a look at your leg or whatever to see what the swollen look like or anything. Apple cider vinegar might be good for keeping your cold stone level good. Well, I'd have prefer, I would prefer go and do a research on it first to see what's the best thing for him to keep it level. Yeah. Well, probably right. Our uh, lemon juice can help because lemon juice is very good. So apple cider vinegar can be right. Or uh, in David, I would say try apple cider vinegar and the lemon. Why well, you see I'm drinking this one right here. But I would do a research for you, Janet. Sound like you have arthritis. Yeah, but apple cider vinegar and lemon. That, yeah, that's why I was thinking to Craig to help. You're welcome. Janet, I would say to you, check with your doctor. And if it is arthritis, there is natural thing you can do with the arthritis. Yeah. Oh, thank you for sharing. You're welcome. <laughs> green, green, green. Be careful with them green. Eh? Um, so David, try the upper side of vinegar on the lemon. Okay? Drink it. You can drink it in the morning. And also you can drink it in the night. If it doesn't work, you know I mean, follow me on my Instagram page. Let me know and I will do some research for you. I see the best because I like to do my research. I will sit down hours and do the research for you, man. <laughs> yeah, I like to do research and see what's good for the body. But Janet, um, you might, as she said, you might suffer from arthritis. So if you're suffering from arthritis, that is like information. So what you want to do, try and drink up a lot of whole per beetroot and changing your diet a little bit and whatever you are doing. But I would say seek your doctor advice. Seek your doctor advice is important. All right, Chrissy. Right. Lemon juice in the morning.
Queen fam. Yes, definitely. But um, I would say, seek your doctor, Janet, and see. Okay. But there's a lot of stuff you can drink, and it will help you. All right, David, big up yourself. Definitely, doctor first. Yeah. Seek your doctor first, and then come back and least listen what your doctor say. But for me, in the meantime, I would change your, I would say to you to change your diet. Yeah, upper side of nigga mom is the best. Definitely, 100% Craig. <laughs> Big up my TikTok and my Facebook audience. Yeah, oh, guys, I have to come over to my YouTube channel, man. Sorry about that. All right, David, Big up yourself, man. You're more than welcome. All right, Janet. Yes, so see your doctor but if i mean like you i would change my diet honestly because sometimes when you change your diet things can change all right just like when you put on four new tire on a car your car start to run better so throw away the old thing then what you're doing and put on some new thing like some vegetables some natural juice drink a lot of water Eat a little bit more healthier, take away some of the crap, and yeah, drink some all of a natural tea, ginger tea, rosemary tea. Um, you got parsley tea, which is good for you for inform for information. You got um, turmeric, mix turmeric with ginger and lemon together. So those things is very good. But see your doctor. Um, one teaspoon each is very good. Just like what I did with this one. One teaspoon each. Yeah. One teaspoon each. Very, very good for you. Drink it before you go to your bed in the night. And one in the morning. You will see some changes. Definitely. All right, guys. Now it is what time now? One fifteen. Yeah, I just joined. Um, I'm so sorry, you just joined. What? Oh, this one. Um, <laughs> I mix about three different things since night. This is the last one I'm drinking. Upper side of vinegar and lemon very good all right but guys i'm gonna have to close the show thank you so much for tonight and remember to join chef ricardo bedtime tea jay freedom <laughs> have have an of vinegar it's very good product okay uh read and fire new york city big up yourself man you know some people may say they just they just disappear off the planet Gregor, you got Fox and Fox disappear. We got a, quite a few people disappear, you know. <laughs> they, they doesn't come back on the show. Up to the top, um, Chef Andre. NS, thank you so much. We got Fox and Fox disappear. Uh, quite a few people in this gone. They get the recipes and run away. Big time tea room. <laughs> With Chef Ricardo. Big up yourself, Craig. Yeah, man. Happy Valentine's Day, Ricardo. Big up yourself to Happy Valentine's Day. Um, you got a lot of people who used to support me. They just disappear like I don't see them anymore. Maybe they're on vacation. Yeah, probably. Great recipe. Hey, Robbie B, what's going on? Soup, what's, happy Valentine to you, man. Wally for love and happy Valentine and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Happy Thanksgiving Day too. Everything. Rain and fire. Okay, big up yourself every time. All right, guys. Have a beautiful evening and enjoy the rest of your Valentine evening. Stay blessed and I will catch you guys tomorrow, man, with more video. Remember, <laughs> I mean, you're welcome. Big up yourself every time. Thank you for the support. I appreciate the love. All right. Great show, Chef Ricardo. Big up yourself 100%. I'm checking in. Okay, I'm so sorry. I have to go a little bit late. 
Have a beautiful evening. Happy Valentine, guys. So next time. Bye-bye.